So way back in the 1940s, the way most Americans got their news in a film or video format was in newsreels. They didn't get it through TV because while TV technically existed, virtually no one had it. So newsreels were short news segments designed to be aired before and in between motion pictures in your local theater. So you'd go to the theater to see a movie and they'd have commercials and newsreels and other things in between the features. So what you're about to see are the first newsreels that were targeted specifically to propagandize black America. Now there was a lot of propaganda films the US government was putting out back then to encourage you know, patriotism and participation in like war bond efforts and whatnot, but these are the first ones that were targeted specifically to black America. So these, which you're about to watch is a, an example of those, and I find them fascinating just because we're seeing a, a part of black America really of America that we don't normally get to see. So I hope you enjoy them and please like and share. That's a really big deal for a small YouTuber like me. And thank you guys. Love you very much. God bless. All American News brings you our people's contribution to America and freedom. Fighting 92nd, all Negro division never has a dull moment. If they're not shooting Nazis, they're making ready for the landing of troops and planes. Anti-aircraft guns are in action. For a landing field is to be completed. Fellows have to work unmolested. Those big bulldozers, like the Yanks that handle them, sweep everything before them. The job about done. That 92nd Division goes ahead to victory. This is the doorway to splendid works of art. These students are here to see a prize mural. Rex Corley, director of the center. Carter's painting won first prize in the contest held last fall, judged by a jury of famous painters. The contest, like this gallery, has been accorded much favorable notice in the press. The title of the mural is The Negro in Professional Life, and it is graphically delineated. Clothes will be sent to the hurricane sufferers in far off Jamaica. R.S. True, president of the league, and Albert Bolter, representing the movement in the West Indies. With Mr. True and Mr. Bolton is the Reverend Ethelred Brown, secretary of this philanthropic organization. This is a national movement among the Negro people, and certainly a highly worthy one. All these young women are training to be registered nurses. Harlem Hospital knows there can be no weaklings in this profession. So once a week, the trainees are put through these strenuous exercises with Park Supervisor Miller setting the pace. This is grand for the health and certainly for the figure. They're the picture of health and mighty pretty, too. <laughs> 